Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects webinar snippet. These snippets include excerpts of webinars that are accessible by going to our website at www.performancearchitects.com and registering for our Learning Center, a community and forum for on-demand business education in the business intelligence and enterprise performance management arenas and related topics. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. So, as some of you may have know, uh, may know, bins are defined in column properties and really are meant to um, perform calculations um, in the report themselves. Um, they do generate a select case statement, and there is a, a somewhat of a performance um, issue with, at a certain degree, if you overdo it uh, with uh, bins. But generally speaking, they are very good for combining values and or and or filtering values um, and also have a very good feature um, and perhaps some of you may not know where you can treat the value as numeric and this can be very handy in uh, filling in gaps in the data um, you know usually bins uh, you know are performed for doing rapid application development prototyping and they can be helpful in, in filling gaps in uh, data quality so uh, we'd like to see everything put into the RPD and we'd like to see everything uh, orderly but sometimes we're in situations where that. So now let's compare that with calculated items, which you've also had for quite a long time. But uh, one thing you may not realize is that now when you add a calculated item um, to your report, it's also adding it automatically as a selection step, which we'll talk a little bit later on. Now calculated items are, are differ, differ from bins in that you're manipulating members of a group um, adding them together um, in a usually a pivot table and you're you're it's producing an aggregated result under that new category once again it's very helpful for um, various reasons it's after aggregation it's, it's also very helpful in um, filling business needs that may have surfaced after an RPD has gone live it may be also helpful for various other data quality needs um, and we found that um, you know while the same is true for bins. While this is a good uh, feature and it's it's very handy, um, it shouldn't it shouldn't be a substitute for um, for proper design and, and build out in, in an RPD. But uh, it's a very powerful um, tool and something that if you haven't been aware of or perhaps you're on the end user side, it's something that's that's a, a very useful feature and it'll allow you to modify. Uh, change your reports uh, without having to ask developers to make an RPD change, which was which can save a great deal of time. So a group is uh, the next one. is It's in the same family of uh, functionality that you know, with bins and category uh, uh, calculated items, in that it's. Uh, grouping um, pieces of, of data together. It, it's vastly different than a calculated item in that you can't really perform aggregate cal calculations. You're, you're actually just picking members you want to include and group together. What's great about groups over calculated items or bins is that if you use them in a hierarchical column like I have displayed on the slide, um, they'll actually respect the hierarchy themselves. So it's actually a, a, a way to artificially insert your own um, hierarchy within the, the hierarchical column. Now, if you look at the, the picture just above that, I've done the, basically the same grouping, but in a, uh, a non-hierarchical column, and the result is basically more of a flat um, aggregated result. So it's uh, just a very, very good feature, and I, I think that, uh, you know, it was a, it's always good to go back and review some of these, these features and functionalities Groups was added in um, a little bit later on uh, in 11G, and for those of you still in 10G, it's something or you're thinking of upgrading, you should keep it in mind. 